Hi there, welcome to the sonnet puzzle. This is a slightly mathematical problem and the goal of this puzzle is to find a certain equilateral polygon. These are examples of equilateral polygons. All their sides are of equal length, although the angles might not be. For a whole number n, beta is the angle so that beta is 360 degrees divided by n. So rule number one, design a tile which is an equilateral polygon, as we discussed, but all angles are multiples of beta. I don't know if that sounds complicated. Here's a simple example, a rhombus for n equals 10, beta will be 360 degrees divided by 10, that's 36 degrees. And here we have the angles of that rhombus. You can see that 10 beta is 360 degrees. So 5 beta is 180 degrees. So 2 beta plus 3 beta, 5 beta is 180 degrees. That's like the interior angles the two parallel lines, isn't it? And then you consider here 360 degrees around here. We have five of these smaller angles. The smaller angle is two beta, five times two beta, 10 beta, 360 degrees. That gives you an idea of how you can put together these equilateral polygons. Rule number two, you have to arrange n of these tiles to fit in an n-sided regular polygon. So you think, oh, that's, that looks easy. For example, an equilateral triangle. For n equals 6, 360 degrees divided by 6, 60 degrees. We have to use 60 degrees angles. Here we have our equilateral triangle and n of these, six of these, can be fitted together to make a n-gon, a hexagon. But, no, rule number three says all n rotations by angle beta of the tile must look different. So here, there's only two different orientations of the tile in the hexagon. And why is that? That's because the equilateral triangle has rotational symmetry of order three. So six divided by three, two, only two different orientations. So what about this shape? It's a bit strange looking shape. If you take a pentagon, put a line through two vertices and then fold over that part, you get left with this shape here. And you can show that these are the angles. N equals 10, beta is 360 divided by 10, 36 degrees. These are the angles of this shape. Now, if you rotate this shape by 36 degrees, you get a different orientation. It looks different every time. So, could we arrange 10 of these tiles to fit into a regular decagon, a 10-sided Polygon. Here we are in the sonnet program. 
I take this one. Now, because they're all in order, it's actually quite easy to put them all together. I don't have to turn and rotate any of them. And there you can see all put together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a ten sided regular polygon, a decagon. So, why did those ten tiles fit together to make a decagon? This angle here is the exterior angle of this polygon. And because there are 10 sides, 10 exterior angles as you go around add up to 360 degrees. So 360 divided by 10 gives us our beta. So every exterior angle is beta. This angle is beta. This angle is 3 beta. So beta plus 3 beta plus beta 5 beta, 5 beta is 180 degrees. That's a straight line. And then here, this should be 360 degrees, 3 beta plus 7 beta, 10 beta. 10 beta is 360 degrees. And then in the middle, around there, we have 10 beta again, 10 beta, 360 degrees. Now, what about this shape? This one doesn't have any symmetry, but there's no flipping allowed. You're not allowed to turn it over. For n equals 12, beta is 30 degrees. So all these angles are multiples of 30 degrees. So could 12 of these tiles fit into a regular dodecagon, 12-sided polygon? It's three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there we have twelve of these shapes all put together, twelve different orientations. To make a dodecagon. Now, is there a different way that we could put them together instead of just putting all with the the most acute angle all together in the middle? Let's try putting, say, this sixty degree angle in the middle. One there, and like this. Now, what about all these gaps around here? It looks like they're fitting in rather nicely, doesn't it? So again, we have all, all of them, 12 of them put together into a dodecagon. And although we're not going around in the same kind of sequence, only once has each orientation been used. So that obeys the rule. Here's another possible solution for n equals 14, more complicated one. But again, 14 of them rotating around like that form a 14-sided regular polygon, a 14 and gone. So this looks too easy. What is rule four? 
Rule 4 says the tile must be a convex polygon. So these red lines mark where you have concave areas in a polygon. So all these four polygons are concave. These two are convex. That is, every interior angle must be less than 180 degrees. None of our solutions so far satisfy rule 4. All these interior angles are greater than 180 degrees. So here's a sum summary of the sonnet puzzle. I'm not sure how difficult the puzzle is. I have one solution. There's no tricks. I didn't exactly solve it. I found the solution and then I invented the puzzle. And maybe there are lots of solutions. I don't know. So good luck with that. And look out for the sonnet video be coming out in April or May of 2023. This pitch has got nothing to do with the puzzle, by the way. So if anybody finds a solution, just uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching then. Bye bye.